Material objects, how do we think about them? Do we ever think about what value they add to our lives? Well, I had an opportunity to talk to one of the minimalists. They have over two million followers, these two guys, and they're going on a 100 city tour with their brand new book, Everything That Remains. Let's see what happens when I ask him about the value of a cell phone. Joshua, congratulations on your new book about being a minimalist, but how should we think about our cell phones? <laughs> you know, it's interesting. The, the question I keep asking is, does this thing add value to my life? Because I think all of us have different circumstances, so we all need different things. I don't think there's anything wrong with material possessions, whether it's a cell phone or anything else. The problem is how we use these tools in our lives and do we actually benefit from, from using them. For me, I have a cell phone because I get a lot of value from it. I've actually gone a period of time without it as well to learn what value I actually get from it. There are other things, plenty of other things I've removed from my life because they weren't actually adding value. So I think it's important to keep asking that question of anything that we bring into our lives whether it's stuff or relationships or something we're going to be passionate about, a project, is it actually going to add value to my life? That's awesome. Tell us about your brand new book, Everything That Remains. Everything That Remains is a story of a couple of suit and tie corporate guys who became minimalists. And it was my best friend and I, Ryan Nicodemus. We started a website called theminimalists.com and uh, we just really shared our journey on that website. But a lot of people wanted to know the story behind it all. So it's the story of a couple of guys who decided to live more intentionally as opposed to just following a dream that may not be their own dream. Well, thank you for your time today. Yeah, thank you.